Go. All right. Hi, welcome back. We have Wes Putnam here, and we're doing a little mini series with Wes where we're getting to know him better, and we're also following him along his journey of creating a game board and what that's like. So thank you for coming back, Wes. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, today we're going to talk a little bit more about you personally, and I'd like to know who you are and uh, you have a lovely relationship. So I'd just like to dive into that. So sure. go for it. <laughs> okay, sure. So my husband's name is Brad and we have been together for 17 years. It'll be our 15 year, I'm going to call it wedding anniversary, but I'll say more about that in a moment Um, in December yeah. of this year because December 9th, 2009. Oh, well, funny story. Let me go back a moment. I'll tell you, I'll share how we met first. So how we met. Yeah. Let's do that. In, we both participated in this company called Landmark Worldwide. But even before that, actually, I was, let me think here. I got to think how it goes. So I knew of Brad through friends. And I think the first time I really heard about Brad was that I was producing a play that I had written. And a friend of mine was approaching him to sponsor it. He was asking him to be a financial backer for the play like a $500 donation or something, which Brad yeah. declined. Okay. That's the first <laughs> thing that happens. All right. Then um, he did come see the play though with the person he was dating at the time, but we never met. Then I worked with a company that offered transformational programs and he was participating in one of those programs. And I was trying to get a hold of him about that program. And he never called me back. <laughs> and then finally, a friend, a mutual friend invited us both out to, it was Pride Night here in Phoenix, and we both just ended up dancing the entire night on the dance floor. And um, and that was kind of how it began. That was, that was yeah. what it is. He said, there's something here. So then um, I asked him out on a date shortly after that, and I guess you could say the rest is history. Um, gosh, I feel like I have so many things I could share now about our relationship. So he's there's an 18-year age difference. Um, and in the beginning, that was very challenging because we... I don't know. I just had lots of concerns about it. And he's 18 years older than me. And we went on vacation. Our very first vacation we went was to Mexico and people kept asking if he was my dad. It was like super awkward. But before we went on the vacation, we had, we had had this conversation. We like created who we were as a couple and as a relationship. And we created that we're the relationship of the future, I think is what we called it. And then people are going to look in our direction and be like, you know, what? I want a relationship like that. Yeah. And so then I distinctly remember after this trip, we were driving down the road I can tell you right where it was. It was on 32nd and Lincoln. We're driving down the road here in Arizona. And I turned to him and I said, what am I going to do when you're 78 and I'm 60? And he goes, well, what am I going to do when I'm 78 and you're 60? <laughs> and right then I said, you know what? Maybe this is just what it looks like to be in the relationship of the future right now. Maybe this is what it looks like. And it was kind of like everything just chilled out after that. And we've never had anything about it really since then. It was just kind of like, oh, this is what it looks like right now. Okay, we got those concerns. But then they like disappeared. And we've never had anybody ask, yeah. it's your dad or anything like that. And it's kind of resolved the whole thing for us. How so that's pretty, yeah, it's pretty wild. So that was early on. So then in 2009, I was I was about to say, um, I'm like the easiest person to interview. Because you just ask one question, I'll go for hours. So I love it. <laughs> December... 5th 2009 we had what we called a community celebration of partnership because before we could legally get married and it was the coolest thing we 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 intentionally since we knew we couldn't get married we knew our relationship really lived in the way the community viewed us and the way our friends and family mm -hmm. viewed us that's kind of the only place our marriage was going to live at that point because we couldn't legally do it so we just it, it, the whole theme was about community and we it really had it be a community event. So we had the community really contribute almost everything, meaning, you know, we had somebody bake cupcakes for the whole thing instead of a cake. And we had um, an open mic and we had all kinds of different performers. We had a, we had a belly dancer. We had a uh, opera singer. We had a, a flame dancers, throwers. We had a tarot card reader. This is all her. Oh our my gosh. I know. It's the we best a, party. It was super fun. We had a photo scavenger hunt where, um, you got to, and then one of them was dressed your kid up like a dinosaur. <laughs> we had some people to bring their kids as dinosaurs. Oh, yeah, and the way we did the flowers, everybody brought white flowers. We just provided vases that we got from like Goodwill. It was in this oh beautiful, beautiful um, backyard of a friend of ours in Paradise Valley. And, um, and uh, uh, but we provide the vases 
and then there yeah. were just all these different kind of white flowers. It was amazing. It was it was awesome. It was a magical evening. It, was, it turned out to be the coldest night of the year, but it was a blast. You know, <laughs> we never I don't know. I never came down from that blast for like months. It was just so much fun and so amazing. And then yeah. a few years later, yes. e marriage was then legal. Exactly. So in 2017, <laughs> I think, either 2016 or 2017, um, the date I remember is December 9th, December 5th. Oh my gosh, I just messed up. December 5th, 2009. I remember that date because that's, that's, that's like when really for us, we got married. So we were 15, that was your declaration 15. of exactly. being married. Yeah. yeah. So then it became legal. Terms. And then we yeah. did legalize. We, we didn't call it a wedding. We called it a legalization of Wes and Brad. It was kind of like around all the time when people were talking about the legalization of marijuana. So that was kind of like in the language. So we called it the legalization <laughs> of Wes and Brad. So and we come, um, come get high on our love. <laughs> that, that's right. That would have been clever. We did say that. But, um, but it was we all we did was a Facebook event. We didn't really think much of it, but we created this whole weekend out of it up in Prescott. Yeah. Tell you we had a hayride and it was like, get your own tickets. We'll see you there. <laughs> and, and we had a party and we did a dinner and we did a hike. And um, and we ended up having like 200 people over the weekend come celebrate with us. And my family flew in and, you know, it was just oh another magical gosh. event. And it, was, yeah. it was so funny. I mean, it's looking back and it's so funny. But this, this hayride wedding of ours, which you never would have. I don't know. It just seems funny now, but we had such a blast. And um, I keep telling Brad, I want to get married again because it's just so great both times, you know, so much fun. I heard, uh, I heard recently I was lis listening slash watching a podcast on YouTube and uh, this couple, they've been married for three years now and every year they do a new kind of wedding oh, where it's cool. like, yeah, it's like a re-promise of your vows and a re-promise of this versus like just a date night, which you could do kind of anytime, you know, I but like it. on their anniversary, they have another form of wedding, whether it's to Vegas or to here or wherever, or have a, cool. a dinner with friends. Like, so I just thought it was really, like, really interesting and a new concept that people don't talk about that much of like really celebrating marriage and like making it exciting and yeah, having it fun. Special. It's great. Yeah. Yeah. Really special. A little bit more than a date. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Date where you go to well, a fancy restaurant, but it's no different otherwise. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. I love it. I might steal that. I'm going to steal that. Steal it exactly. <laughs> and go for exactly. it. And yeah. then I'll live vicariously through you, through all your weddings you have. <laughs> Perfect. Exactly. I thought of one other thing that's fun to share about my, my, yeah. we have like 50,000 things I could share, but the proposal. So we, I got this oh, group on for like hot air ballooning <laughs> and I thought it'd just be him and me in this balloon, but there was like, 16 of us <laughs> so, yeah, I've done one. <laughs> yeah but it was really fun and um and i got we were like no rings we actually been like ring shopping the week before but for some reason he didn't put it together he like had no idea he was going to propose so and he was like i don't really want rings or whatever but i went and got him the day of and then we went up in balloon and I, well, I don't think i said will you marry me i think what i said was i think we should spend the rest of our lives together <laughs> and he said okay and mm. that was that but uh super fun I love that. Hot air yeah. ballooning is is unexpected for me when I went. Like it's so calm and peaceful. So what a beautiful opportunity to have that proposal. It was great. It was awesome. Four hundred feet in the air. <laughs> yeah, totally. Thanks for giving me the opportunity to relive all these awesome memories. Yes, absolutely. Well, it's been a pleasure to get to know you a little bit more. And again hearing about your adventures and your adventurous life is really great so thank you for sharing and sure. hopefully this comes out to share it yes absolutely well great until next time Wes thank you so much all right bye bye